This is my research into Halputov and Ken's shoulders. Halputov is a huge part of the UFO discussion. He's one of the few physicists that takes the subject seriously and is part of To the Stars Academy, aka TTSA. He has claimed to have searched for maverick inventors with his company Earth Tech to find innovative propulsion and energy sources to no avail. However, another very credible physicist who also worked at SRI with HAL in the 1980s claims the work was successful. I want to share his work and figure out why HAL's connection to it hasn't been discussed. Let's reach a consensus if there is something here and if we should try to ask Putov about it. Hal Putov's connection to the UFO topic is well established. He is a part of TTSA and has been researching the topic for years with inside access to materials, scientists and government officials. His career is very interesting having been involved in the CIA's Project Stargate remote viewing program. These details are well known. His connection to Ken Shoulders, however, appears to be under the radar. Who is Ken Shoulders? Ken Shoulders was an experimental physicist and father of vacuum microelectronics with a career at SRI and multiple patents. More interestingly, he spent the last half of his life researching what he called exotic vacuum objects or EVOs and this work was done in conjunction with Hal Putoff. Ken claimed that he had found a new source of energy in these strange plasma objects and all of his work has been archived by his son. The claims made by Ken are that he found a way to create charge clusters that basically violated known laws of physics and that he could repeat the results. His claims are similar to those made by Lenner and Cold Fusion advocates except that he actually was getting reproducible results and documenting everything. I've found a link to the archives, and there is a wealth of his work available to the public except for a few CDs and DVDs that are inexplicably unavailable to researchers until 2065. I've done a lot of digging and the story is very odd. It involves Scientology and a wealthy chicken franchise owner, Bill Church Jr. Bill Church funded Ken's research in EVOs and also funded Hal's research in remote viewing. Bill was a member of Scientology and at one point so was Hal. I understand some of my sources may be a little suspect, but I do find the Ken Shoulders work fascinating as he appears to have been a very credible scientist and inventor and his work was inspired by well-documented anomalous results by other scientists such as Winston Bostock. Hal Putoff being the interesting person that he is, makes me wonder why nobody else has stumbled upon his connection to Ken Shoulders. He's not just the remote viewing guy or the UFO physicist, he's also the EVO guy. I'd love to ask him some questions about EVOs and Ken Shoulders. Have you heard of the Sapphire Project? It's a Lena reactor partly based on Shoulders and Putthoff's work on EVOs. Putthoff, also Eric Davis, are on the science review team. They haven't posted an update since 2020 so I'm not sure what's going on with it at the minute but it seemed to be going well, up until they went dark that is. Yes, I've heard of this. My understanding is that they got their results very accidentally and my interpretation is that Hal and Davis, a number of governmental organizations if I remember correctly, were interested in their work. I think they were trying to recreate a model of the sun using only plasma rather than the accepted hydrogen fusion model. I don't think LEN or EVOs were a part of the original work. They tried to measure the surface of the plasma and that's when they started to realize that it was more energetic than expected and apparently they also discovered it was transmuting elements. Obviously, if that's true it's a big deal. I believe they got their patent in Canada rather than the US and I could be wrong but for some reason I recall getting the impression it may have been to keep the patent from being withheld by the government for national security purposes. That is a real thing that happens. Please don't forget to check the links in the description to learn more. Absolutely. It's very important to see the sources and dig deeper into the details. Click on the description to find a wealth of more information on this topic and investigate it for yourself.